Okay, here we've got a Ruger LC9. I did a little gold paint inlay on it, and I'm going to finish shining it. Um, I'm going to finish polishing it up, the upper slide, and uh, doing some patina work on it. But I wanted to show you how dull that looks, especially the... Um, the, the polymer frame, it looks pretty bad. So uh, I want to show you the difference between dull polymer and roughed up steel. Also, I'm working on a holster. I'm not done yet, but there's a little holster I whipped together tonight. Still have some stitching to do, and and uh, but I wanted to show you the edges. This uh, Renaissance wax is good. Not only on uh, wood and metal, but it's good on uh, on leather, paper, it, really anything. Um, it's it's a very fine crystalline, microcrystalline wax, and and uh, the shine and the waterproofing that it produces is unbelievable. It's, it's really easy to use. It's not, it's about 68, 70 degrees in here, and it's very workable. But I wanted to get quite a bit in the edge so I can burnish it in. I like my leather edges to be kind of uh, dark and shiny when I'm done. So it doesn't have to go on perfect because it's going to go through a burnishing wheel. And, uh, I just want to get some on there to start soaking in a little. And on the stitching and tooling. And I'll give this a quick buff before the video is over and uh, give you an idea of what it looks like with just a quick microfiber buff. You don't have to get it on super thick, you just get it good coverage is all you need. And this edge is going to be trimmed a little bit. And I wanted to get some on the suede. Because so I'm going to try to either line that with some thinner leather. Or I've got another trick where I, where I um, mash it down under pressure. And it becomes not so suede -y. But for now, this is all I'm going to do. I just... Wanted to give you an idea of what it looks like before and after. Leather is pretty thirsty, so it'll soak up a lot more than wood, or especially hardwood or, or metal. But on a gun, I'll tell you what, a quarter teaspoon or so total and would do a whole gun pretty easy. Okay, this gun, I just took it apart and kind of cleaned it. Checked everything and finished up my my gold. Uh, all it is is metallic gold uh, acrylic paint, and this Renaissance wax will seal will seal that well enough that it, it won't. Uh, it'll highlight it and seal it to the point that it doesn't even need a clear coat. Clear coating in a firearm is is fine. Especially if you're into uh, one of the, the big names that have the ceramic coating and all. That's great, but the average guy doesn't really want to do that. It's quite a, It can be quite a process and quite expensive. So a good sealer wax like this, Renaissance wax, is really, really all a guy needs. What you're doing is not only making it pretty, you're, you're um, sealing the surfaces from ozone, uh, UV rays, UVA, UVB, um, and the deleterious uh, conditions that uh, exposure to the weather, especially the sun, can do to uh, anything. Um, plastic, wood, metal, doesn't really matter. Everything takes a beating in the sun. 
I live in the Southwest, so it's it's triple bad here. Uh, I'm just making sure I'm getting it everywhere. I brought in brought in some daubers. And here we go. Uh, a dauber or a little paintbrush. You want to make sure you get into every nook and crevice and everything, so you don't leave anything out. And when I'm confident that I've got all of the surface done, I will just start wiping it off and buffing it by hand. Um, you don't have to wait for it to haze over or anything. But I'm going to show you what a huge difference. You saw the gun polymer and, you know, the polymer um, frame and the steel upper. This is not stainless. It's just some kind of uh, high carbon steel. So that's all for the wax, unless I go back and do a second coat on this holster, but this holster's got quite a ways to go. I forgot the back, didn't I? Let's do the back real quick. See the difference here, it just drinks it up. And this is vegetable tanned leather, uh, the kind that you can tool and, and shape form I formed uh, I formed this little holster over over this gun um, with a table with a bunch of little holes in it attached to a vacuum cleaner wet the leather and sucked it down over the gun wrapped the gun in, in um, saran wrap to keep it from getting wet and sucked it for put the vacuum on it for maybe 20 minutes and then I took the back, shut the vacuum off, and the next day I have that. So it works pretty good. Okay, now we're going to. This stuff has a little bit of a. A little bit of a. a, a I don't know. Some kind of thinner. It's not real potent, but, but it does have a, a slight smell of turpentine or ketone or something I can't really tell but we're just going to wipe this off maybe I should tell you shit that's in German this stuff is made it's actually made in England in the uh, UK and let's see does not show finger marks dries hard instantly Apply sparingly with soft cloth and, and buff gently or your finger. No, it doesn't say that, but that's what I just did. Made in England. It doesn't say what's in it, and that's fine with me, but it does have a little... Oh, it says it's good um, furniture, valuable furniture, leather, paintings, metal, marble, ivory, freshens color, and parts of beautiful soft sheen. This is seven ounces. And um, I've got some 65 milliliter bottles I'll be carrying. They're actually a metal um, can, aluminum can. You can see right there, probably can't see it that well, but it says made in England, can made in England. Okay, anyway, um, we're going to polish this steel up. This is just a microfiber towel. I bought it AutoZone or Checker or something a couple years ago. And uh, I'm just going to buff that up. Can't expect the, the polymer frame to get glossy shiny with it because it was a matte finish to begin with. And I'm hiding everything I'm doing. Not on purpose, but I'm blocking the star of the show, which is the gun. Hold it here where you can kind of see it. See the difference? And you don't have to have... I don't know if you uh, know much about Carnauba wax, but Carnauba wax is one of the hardest waxes, and it's very, very good. But you cannot put Carnauba wax on by hand. So when you buy, uh, when you go to the store and you get 
car wax and it says contains carnauba, it very well may, but it's probably very, very minute amount. Because car raw carnauba, uh, without a high-speed buffing wheel or a buffing bonnet, um, you can't put it on by hand. You can't buff it out by hand. you got to have power tools or shop equipment to do it. And this stuff, um, this stuff was developed to protect statuary and stuff by order of the queen back in, it's been around for a hundred years, but it was, it was actually, uh, there was some scientists that were summoned and the queen had them come up with a wax that wouldn't show fingerprints and uh, keep the uh, uh, bronzes and all the antiques and stuff looking really good for the viewing public in uh, London. So, but it's, I'm sure it's been around for at least a hundred years. So anyway, I can keep going on this and I can keep turning the cloth and getting really, you know, serious about it, but uh, I'm not going to, because the video will turn into kind of like watching grass grow. And there's some tight areas I'm going to have to work, work pretty hard. It's just, just to prove it's not loaded, and nor will it fire without a mag in. But see the difference? See the difference in that frame? Put it here and try to hold this to where. See how shiny that is and pretty? Here's, here's, I did that on purpose. I, I did that on purpose to show you how resilient this wax is. Look at that. This is sticky soda pop and it just beads up and wipes right off. Shakes off, wipes off. No harm, no foul. This stuff is incredible for protecting the finish against uh, accidental spasmodic spills of refreshments, including Mountain Dew and beer. So, there you have it. I'm going to have a whole bunch of blooper footage. Anyway, there's the gun. I hope the lighting is such that you can see it. Um, that's the after, after one coating of Renaissance wax. And you can go in and do another coating or two if you want. But there you go. Renaissance wax, great on uh, firearms, fishing tackle, uh, golf clubs, anything metal or plastic or wood or leather. My name is Bill Worden. I not only guarantee great products, I guarantee great service. You have my word on it. Thanks for watching. Thank you.